From the 2009 MTV incident that started this whole thing to the former rivals facing each other at the Super Bowl, a lot has changed over the years. But the one thing that's been a constant is Kanye West's feud with Taylor Swift. The rapper dropped her name in one of his songs again, and here's how Taylor responded. A little backstory is warranted here. Their volatile relationship started way back in 2009, when Kanye ambushed Taylor during her acceptance speech at the 2009 MTV Music Award. The rapper still maintains that it wasn't because he wanted the spotlight away from Taylor. Well, what else would you call grabbing the microphone from her mid-sentence and proclaiming that Beyonce deserved the win instead of her? We'll be coming up to 20 years since their feud started soon, and it's been an adventure. That's putting it lightly. Taylor revealed that as someone who was just starting out in the music industry, Kanye's ambush caught her off guard. To be fair, no one was expecting it. In Taylor's case though, it went a whole lot deeper. The singer admitted that she felt uncomfortable the rest of the night, on the verge of breaking down, and truly started questioning if she deserved the win. Beyonce was the one who stepped in, actually, and gave Taylor a chance to finish her acceptance speech during her own win. It was a whole ordeal that ended on a wholesome note, or so we thought. The 2009 incident made headlines, and Kanye revealed that he knew it was wrong of him. Taylor even revealed that he'd called her and apologized for it. Kanye thought they'd buried the hatchet, but Taylor wasn't about to let him off the hook that easily. In 2010, Taylor subtly took her revenge when she released Innocent. The song referenced a rapper who was, according to Swift, immature, childish, and altogether a bully. Unsurprisingly, Kanye later took back his apology and let the world know that this meant war. Things were quiet enough from 2010 until 2016. They appeared on stage together, took a few pictures, and Kanye even sent Taylor flowers one time. Just like before though, Kanye's plan was to catch everyone off guard. Fast forward to 2016, and the rapper releases his infamous song, Famous. The song was controversial for more reasons than one, but the reason it made headlines was because of Kanye's Taylor Swift lyric. The lyric made it seem like Taylor was clout chasing and suggested that her entire career was based on the 2009 incident. In a way, Kanye believed he was the one who made Taylor famous. The backlash was intense as you'd imagine. Maybe that was what Kanye was going for all along. Swifties united in tearing the rapper apart, but all he had to say about it was that Taylor knew about the lyric. But did she? It sure didn't sound like it based on her 2016 Grammy Award speech. The singer took to the stage, looked both ways to see if Kanye was planning another ambush, and declared that there were people in the industry who'd stop at nothing to tear a woman down. Her speech was equal parts inspiring and thought-provoking. How could Kanye stoop so low? And then to have the audacity to lie about it and say that Taylor agreed to the lyric beforehand. Of course, the backlash intensified and Kanye stuck to his word. Swifties emerged from every corner of the globe, but ultimately had to retreat and hide. Why? Because as it turns out, Kanye was telling the truth. That's right, shortly after Taylor's Grammy speech, Kanye's then wife, Kim Kardashian, released time-stamped audio-visual footage where Kanye told Taylor he'd be referencing her in his song. You know what Taylor said? She said she was excited to hear it. This changed the whole dynamic. Taylor was now on the receiving end of the backlash and it actually intensified. Fans couldn't believe that she'd lie about famous just to get back at Kanye. Of course, Taylor's PR team released a statement where they acknowledged the clip, admitted it was Taylor on the other end, but claimed it was only a part of the whole conversation. The backlash gave Kanye the confidence and the marketing to release the music video for Famous. Again, it was a controversial one. Kanye's basically lying in a mega bed with naked sculptures of several celebrities. You know where this is going, right? To his right was none other than Taylor Swift. Taylor went on to claim that the video was unnecessary and unfortunate. Lena Dunham came to her defense and asked that people boycott Famous for how damaging it was for a woman in the music industry. But ever since Kim leaked the phone call between Kanye and Taylor, no one really came to the pop star's defense. She actually described the whole situation pretty well herself in 2023. Taylor called it a career death, and that's frankly what it was. The singer's Instagram comments were flooded with emoticons of snakes, you know, cause Taylor lied and she had to retreat from the public eye for a while. The feud, 
The Backlash, and then Taylor's Redemption album, aptly titled Reputation, felt like a fever dream or a nightmare for Taylor Swift. Suddenly, her entire career was marked by whatever transpired from 2009 to 2017. This isn't to say that Kanye's career didn't take a nosedive either. The rapper went on a rampage from 2020 to date, from revealing his unwavering support for former US President Donald Trump to sporting a White Lives Matter t-shirt at Paris Fashion Week and being dropped by Adidas and losing the collaborative multi-billion dollar deal Yeezy. His marriage to Kim also ended in a bitter divorce. The only difference between Kanye and Taylor, though, is the fact that the rapper embraced the controversy. So, Taylor spent years trying to grow from it, avoided talking about the drama that unfolded, and altogether let the past stay in the past. Meanwhile, Kanye realized that he'd almost always be portrayed as the villain. Why not embrace it? He's done a lot of questionable things over the years, and it was only time that he released another song that called out Taylor Swift. Guess that time was February 2024. For those of you who don't know, Kanye released an extended version of Famous soon after its release in 2016. That was where we learned that Kanye had actually toned down the explicit lyrics he'd used for Taylor. He decided not to be coy in his 2024 release Carnival though. Carnival is the 12th song in Vultures 1, which is a collaboration with Ty Dolla Sign. You'd think that the explicit lyrics talking about Taylor would be the most controversial part of the song. You'd be wrong. The song was meant to offend just about everyone. Among other things, Kanye compared himself to R. Kelly and Bill Cosby, two people currently serving prison time for numerous sexual assault cases. So Kanye made headlines with his controversial lyrics in Carnival. Taylor also made headlines when she revealed that she couldn't care less about what the rapper said about her. A spokesperson for the singer revealed that Taylor's well aware of the explicit and offensive lyrics in Carnival. It's not that she doesn't know what Kanye said, it's just that she doesn't care. Taylor's had quite the year. She made it to the billionaires list, became Times Person of the Year, sold out arenas during her era's tour, and is experiencing newfound love with her NFL boyfriend. She's so busy with all the new and welcome changes in her life that the last thing she'd ever concern herself with is what Kanye has to say about her. Probably the most ironic thing here is that a source close to Taylor claimed that the tables have turned in 2024. In 2016, Kanye claimed that Taylor was clout chasing and that he'd been the one to make her famous. Now, it looks like Kanye's trying to spark a revival of his career by calling out Taylor. Again, Kanye's faced backlash after backlash over the past couple of years. He's been dropped by almost all of his sponsors, Kim left him, and it looks like he's working on rebranding himself as a new rapper. He even started referring to himself as just yay. For everyone who's still holding on to hope that Taylor will respond eventually, and one of the most infamous music feuds will start again. You might be disappointed with what Taylor's rep said. The singer doesn't ever plan on responding, not publicly or privately. This doesn't mean there's no bad blood between the two of them. They're not necessarily friends, but Taylor doesn't have the time to start a feud. This news probably disappointed a lot of fans who were hoping for a big reaction when Taylor and Kanye came face to face at the Super Bowl. Taylor was there supporting her new beau, Travis, and cheering on the Kansas City Chiefs. Meanwhile, Kanye was there with his partner, Bianca, watching the game. Everyone thought there'd be a major blowout, and some rumors started floating around that Taylor wanted Kanye booted. That simply wasn't the case. Taylor was enjoying her time with her friends and didn't even know Kanye was there. I guess the feuds have died down for good now. So, from the former rivals facing each other at the Super Bowl, to the 2009 MTV incident that started this whole thing, that was how Taylor responded to Carnival.